Barcelona Universal Models presents the 13th century Chinese army horse warlords camp. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and welcome back down to a great Monster Hobbies unboxing. I, of course, am the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, a small town with a big heart. And here I am, I'm standing in front of our huge 172nd scale shelving units, where today's unboxing you can actually find right here on our shelves at our store, as well as on our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca. In case you live in a country outside of Canada, I can ship to you worldwide. Isn't that amazing? All right, so if you are building a great diorama that needs figures, or you want to learn about history, or you are just a war gamer and looking for a brand new army to try out, well, today we've got a special treat just for you. We are going to look at Barcelona Universal Models 13th century horse warlord camp. And this is a really cool model kit. So without further ado, let's go down to our table and see what's in the box. Ancient China was a land of dynasties, divisions, unifications, conquests, and subjugation. In the 13th century, China had many small kingdoms. Of these empires, three were major powers, Song, Qin, and the Shisha. By the end of the century, all these empires had been swept away by the Mongols, who established the Yuan dynasty that unified all of China. This box depicts a camp of the Sisha, warriors who had access to good grasslands to support their horses. Unfortunately, the Sisha did not have as good expertise as the Mongolian horsemen. And now let's open up this box and take a look at the contents inside. Right, so here we have a lot of interesting plastic sprue components. We have a camp in white plastic, two of these sprues, and then we have one in this tan type of plastic, as well as a bag that is full of horses and heroes. So we will open these up and take a look at them one by one. This box includes three sets of four tents and five log walls for a total of 12 tents and 15 wall sections. The tents have great details showing the tension points where the fabric is stretched out over the pole locations. The walls are a little more simplistic but contain sections with spiked points. There are three mold buttons on the back of each section which should be removed. The horses depicted are all the same animal. Horse armor was in use in this time, but it was not too common. Note the holes in the sides of the horses under the saddle. These are there to hold the riders' legs in place. The riders all wear the same lamellar armor and are armed with various weapons, including pole arms, swords, shields, and what looks like drumsticks. Are these maces? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of Barcelona Universal Models 13th Century Chinese Horse Warlord Camp. And you know what the great thing about this model kit is? You can pick it up today if you visit www.monster-hobbies.ca and look for it online. Or if you walk into our store, I'm actually going to take this model and I'm going to put it right back here on the shelf where it belongs with its other brother, the same kit. And while you're actually checking things out, don't forget to check us out on our Patreon page, which is bouncing around right here. And I'm gonna leave the link in the comments below, as well as the link for our web store, again, monster-hobbies.ca, so you can easily go there and find all this cool stuff. While you're at it, don't forget, on your way out, to like, subscribe, share, and click that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, and there's going to be a lot in this scale, you are the first person to see it and get the notification to come down and watch it. And while you're at it, please enjoy these other two great videos. And until next time, good luck on your dioramas, school projects, and everything else.